वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू गिटा ले ले ट्यूटोरियल्स कंग्रेचुलेशंस यू हैव फॉलोड अलॉन्ग दिस फॉर टिल द एंड ऑफ द बिगिनर कोर्स मॉड्यूल वन यू हैव टेकन योर फर्स्ट स्टेप टूवर्ड्स म्यूजिशियनशिप बिफोर जंपिंग टू द नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रैक्टिस रूटीन दैट आई रिकमेंड सो दिस वीडियो विल बी अ डिफरेंट वीडियो विदाउट द गिटा ले ले कीप नोट्स इफ यू वॉन्ट आई हैव रिकमेंडेड ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनिट्स अ डे Four days a week of practice routine. Well, not only recommended, I actually have followed the same while learning ukulele for the first time. I had no prior experience on playing string instruments before ukulele, and definitely this routine helped a lot. If you are a beginner learning guitar lele for the first time on a string instrument, I would suggest the following: try pra this practice schedule. Monday. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, morning ten minutes, evening ten minutes, and if you get some extra time, like on weekends or on holidays, add one or two more sessions in the afternoon too. In the morning ten minutes, break it this way: three minutes of chord check practice for G major chord, three minutes of chord check practice for D major chord, okay, two minutes of D major to G major anchor finger practice. and once again i remind you here to not press hard during this practice okay and then followed by chord changes in a minute program for d major to g major and keep the keep track of the number that you are hitting every day on a diary or a notepad or any app okay the last one minute would go tapping the foot when i will be listening to some music okay uh, like i mentioned in the chord board app as well right uh, so i it's really really important to feel the music the feel the beats the feel the rhythm of the song that or feel the rhythm of the music that you are listening to and it may not be that obvious at this point of time but trust me you you have to understand those things when in your long uh, long run right so don't miss those things okay try tapping your foot just dedicated one minute and whenever you are listening to music in your home okay just like something like this you can do as well right and not only tapping the foot you can do other other ways of too just tap something and just follow the rhythm of the song or the rhythm of the music that's going on there okay now in the evening 10 minutes i would recommend to play along songs or along with chord board during first few days songs that are recommended would be too fast to play hence chord board and gradually increase bpm settings in the app okay but once you are ready just play along with the track that that are there that i have mentioned okay and how would you know when you are ready just when you can make chord changes between d major and d, g major 35 to 40 changes in a minute that that would be a good benchmark well a key point here don't spend a whole day playing guitar lele on just one day in a week but keep short 10 minute session twice a day four days a week that's it benefits are much more with repetitive practice the remaining three days you can spend learning about music learn about other instruments like banjo mandolin piano flute harmonica or anything that you feel good listening to right and listen lot of music as well right the main motive is to get associated with music every day Now you have to self assess your situation every day to know when you should move to module 2 which will start with the beginner riff the peter gunn theme a cool fingers exercise while still being a very popular riff okay here are some guidelines to assess first you should memorize the d major chord and the g major chord you don't need to look at the chord diagram or anything you just can tell that okay this is how the uh, g major chord shapes look like right that's how what it looks like on a, uh, when you are on the guitar lele or basically this is how the d major shape looks, looks like right uh, you don't need to look at the uh, look at the chord diagram at that point of time right so you can basically tell this is d major this is how d major looks like or this is how g major do, looks like right second you should be able to make 35 to 40 chord changes in a minute between the g major and d major even better if you can do more than that however if you are stuck at this point let's say you can make 25 changes but not able to make more than that for 2 weeks or 3 weeks 
and you are getting bored simply move on don't stick to this uh, 35 to 40 number okay just move on learning these things should be fun if you are getting bored move on to the next module but keep practicing eventually at some point you will be able to complete this stuff okay now the third play along songs at least if you struggle through for a few times also give it a try and understand why chord change is necessary why tapping your foot is necessary that's really pretty much about it for an absolute beginner also this should not take more than two to four weeks if you're still not passing these criteria, move on to the next lesson anyway but keep practicing hope to see you on the next lesson and the next module